So back to the whiskey, by the way, I, I, as I was saying. So I got this uh, Traveler whiskey. All right. It's made by Buffalo Trace. Now, here in Ohio, Buffalo Trace is hard to come by. I got some Buffalo Trace down there, by the way. Any Buffalo Trace brands are hard to come by. Eagle Rare, E.H. Taylor. You'd never see a Blanton's up here. I do have some Eagle Rare and E.H. Taylor. You can find Benchmark. I'm not a fan of Benchmark. Uh, Benchmark's owned by you know, Sazerac. They're all tied in together somehow. But... Uh, Buffalo Trace made this new whiskey. It's a whiskey, not a bourbon. And it's supposed to be also uh, created with Chris Stapleton, who is supposedly a country singer. I'm not down with country. You guys know that. Um, so I don't know anything about them, to be totally honest with you. But, uh, look, a lot of times, celebrity endorsed whiskeys, celebrity endorsed bourbons, not the greatest. And I've heard very, very, very mixed reviews on this. Some of those mixed reviews, though, are from diehard bourbon drinkers, who I think they're forgetting... It's a whiskey, not a bourbon. Okay, and I like whiskey too because I'm a big fan of Jack Daniels. But this is Traveler whiskey, blend number forty. The story is supposedly nice pop. Supposedly they did like fifty blends, and this was the one they settled on. But it's uh it's 90 proof blended whiskey there's some stuff on the back but i hit my local giant eagle liquor store and they happen to have a surplus of it so i went in you know 40 bucks buffalo trace is like 26 bucks eagle rare is like 40 bucks I can tell you right now, this is not anywhere near Eagle Rare. Eagle Rare is probably my favorite of the Buffalo Trace brands. But uh, so, but I thought I'd give it a try, you know. As Brad plays with that. he's a, I, I knew Brad was going to play. He's a huge Star Wars fan, by the way. Okay. I do smell the vanilla in it. But it's not very strong. Like, I think I get more of a whiff out of regular Buffalo Trace. Not bad, though. Here's the color. If you're looking for the color, see if that's showing up. Not too dark. Let's take a shot and see. Initial reaction, there's not a lot of bite to it. Well, I mean, it's going to be, it's a 90 proof, so there's not going to be a lot of bite to it to begin with. Kind of, kind of hits you at first, but there's no back end to it. I, I taste some vanilla in it. I'm not, I don't know if I could tell it's a Buffalo Trace product. Uh, let me try another one here. It definitely is not a bourbon. I can tell you that. I definitely could tell it's a 
some mixed whiskey. I can tell that right away. It's not a bourbon. So, which is what it is. It's a, it's a whiskey mix. So, hmm. Not bad. Of course, I'll drink this whole bottle. Not tonight, but I'll drink the whole bottle. Will I buy it again? I don't know. That's, that's... Thinking about the price of Buffalo Trace and the taste of Buffalo Trace. Uh, it's better. Buffalo Trace is better. So... Like, I can't really pick out the, the flavors. I mean, you can definitely tell it's heavy on wheat. It's got a little bit of a vanilla taste to it. Nothing there is really lingering in the back end. And that's the third sip, and that was a little different. I'll be totally honest with you. I don't think it's a $40 bottle. It's maybe a $20, $25 bottle. I don't think it's better than Buffalo Trace. So I'm not sure why the, the price point... So there you have it. Not bad. Not the best. If I had to rate it. If I had to rate it. I'm probably looking at a... Maybe a 3 out of 5. There may be a lot of people out there that like it. I mean, it may be... I think I lean towards bourbon a little bit more. Um, and this is more of a, of a whiskey. It is a whiskey. So... That could be it. But, I mean, there are a lot of whiskey fans, not bourbon fans out there. It's worth a shot. Give it a shot. You may have a totally different feel to it. I think I'm looking probably three, three out of five.